I'm a big fan of the One Pot Wonders and that's exactly what I'm going to be cooking now with duck. Now, duck is one of those things, it's not just for special occasions, it's actually really easy to cook just like chicken. And I'm going to show you how beautiful it is with a combination of potatoes, the zestiness of orange, capsicum and my favourite, raisins for just a little punch of sweetness. Now, first of all with the duck, I've brought this out of the fridge about half an hour ago. You really want it to come to almost room temperature so it's just easier to cook, sort of gives it a head start. We need to season this, so a good pinch of salt. And before I add the salt, what I want to do is just pat the skin dry. Now, I pat the skin dry just so we get that really nice golden finish on the skin. So a good pinch of salt all over on each side. And what I love about these duck legs is first of all this skin. So this skin is going to protect that really nice meat to keep it moist and the bones in it. So it's not going to dry out. The meat's going to fall off the bone. I adore it. Now I've got a pan on here. This is on a medium heat because you want to render off the fat. So skin side down, no oil required. And we're going to cook this for about five minutes, five to eight minutes, or until a lot of that fat has rendered and we're going to drain it off. In the meantime, we can get on to our veggies. So an onion, this is a really simple, all this stuff you'll have in your pantry ready to go. You've just got to go out and get your lovely duck legs. And we're just going to slice this. This is going to be cooking in the oven for about an hour. So, you know, you can be really rough. You don't have to make it perfect. We've got capsicum, and I love the addition of the two colours here. We've got red. Again, we're just going to slice it. And I've also got the yellow one. And it's just going to look really, really beautiful. Almost summery, this dish. And by all means, you can change it up if you like. You could add a little bit of eggplant to this, some zucchini. Think about what flavours go really well with duck. Duck loves citrus flavours, fruits could work really nicely with this too. So, on to the potatoes. The potatoes are going to help thicken up this sauce, so I think it's really essential. And it is a one pan wonder, so you don't want to have to be cooking potatoes separately. We want it to go all together. So, I'm going to cut this, or oh, let's cut it into big wedges. Um, and you do need to consider the size of the potato because it needs to cook at the same time as the duck. So, big wedges like that is perfect. Right, that's done. We've got two bay leaves. I'm going to get two strips of peel here. And you don't even need to zest it. This will flavour and perfume this dish really nicely. And we can take that out at the end. So that's ready to go. All we need to do is wait for the duck to start rendering. So slowly bring up the heat. Make sure it's not too hot because if it's too hot, it's going to seal the duck too fast. We want it to slowly render. So we'll give it another five minutes and then I'll remove it from the pan. Right, this is looking good. Let's take them out. They're sealed off nicely. And we're just going to put them on a plate while we just seal off the rest of our ingredients. And before we start adding the rest of the ingredients, what I like to do is just take away some of the fat there. We don't need it all. And of course you can keep it for delicious duck fat potatoes at a later date. So just be very careful, it's quite hot. We'll just pour that straight in there, just leaving all oh, about a tablespoon, that's all you need. Back on the heat. Now let's add our onions first. And you can actually add the capsicum now. Look at those colours. Isn't that just so inviting? I love it. And we're just going to give that a quick toss in that small amount of duck fat there. You can see we're just getting a little bit of colour. I'll also add a little bit of salt now and a good crack of pepper here. Oh, it smells good. And now we'll add the two bay leaves and some orange. And again, I'll give it another toss. Yum. And now for the raisins. Now I like to add the raisins now because it's going to sweeten up our sauce at the end there. They will still hold their shape. Just separate them a little bit. A good handful in there. We'll now add our potatoes. We'll just 
put them around the dish. Now, it looks quite full now, but after cooking for a whole hour, it will shrink down a little bit. Now, we can add the duck. And skin side up. And just nestle it in and around all of those veggies there. Spread it out. I'll move that little potato there so we can add our last one. You can see this is enough for four people. And now we'll deglaze the pan with a little bit of white wine here. You can see I'm being really careful here not to touch the skin. I want to keep moisture away from that just so we can keep that crispy. So now we can add our stock, about two cups of stock here. Again, being careful not to touch the skin there, just around the duck there. Now I'll place the lid on. And now this is going to cook for about one hour at 180 degrees, but I will check it at one hour. The key thing here is you want that meat to fall off the bone. So it might need another 10 or 15 minutes. You know, when you bring out a dish from the oven and it smells amazing, it's going to be pretty good. And oh, that smells <laughs> sensational. Have a look at that duck. I know it's cooked perfectly because you can see that that bone is exposed and it's really, really tender when I'm just touching just down here. Look at that. See, it's falling apart. Yum. Now, to present this, I'm just going to get a few potatoes. You can see that sauce is thickened. It's the starchiness of the potatoes. We're going to just add a few potatoes. And the raisins, the capsicum, the onion, lots of that. And then we'll just get our duck leg. On it goes. And maybe one more spoonful of that sauce just in this little section here. And I would serve it with a simple green salad just like this to cleanse the palate afterwards. I love this one pot wonder. It's a great way to show off duck legs. <laughs>